Welcome to TK Tennis. So several people in the comments have asked me to review Grapple Snake Tour M8. This is a string I have extensive experience with, uh, one to two reels worth, uh, practically in 2023. This was my go-to string of choice. So let's get into the attributes. Uh, I decided this week to lace up a, another set of Grapple, Grapple Snake, Snake and compare it to some of the strings that I've been using recently, such as uh, Kirschbaum Orange, Toraline Wasabi, Toraline Super Toro, and several others. The tension that I tested this at was between 42 and 60 last year. In this video, the tested tension was 52 pounds. Going into the control uh, attribute, I found grapple snake to be sort of that very good to excellent range and that's why you'll see it highlighted as partially and very good and partially and excellent um, if maybe if i had more even more snapback or it was slick the control would be even slightly higher um, but it doesn't have you know that absolute premium control if you're a big hitter um, again we're just splitting hairs it's very close so i would give it a very good to an excellent on control uh, there might be some strings that are more crispy that would give you a little bit more control than Grapple Snake, but being a softer string, um, that's where it falls into the control attribute. In the spin potential, it's very good, or sort of on the lower end of very good. It's a eight-sided shaped poly. Uh, it doesn't have very sharp edges, so if you're a big spin hitter and you're looking to accentuate your spin even more, Grapple Snake Tour M8 won't give you as much spin as something like Hyper G or Toraline Wasabi or others. But its spin potential is still very good or, or on the lower end of very good. Snapback, this is not a hyper slick string. So while a snapback is very good, it's not excellent. The strings will move out of place just a little bit occasionally, uh, but they do snap back for the most part into its default position just maybe not as fast as you would with a slick string. So the slicker the string, the faster it'll snap back on impact and the more spin potential than it would give you as well. But because it's not a slick string, the snap back is a little slower, I think is the right way to say it, and therefore not at the highest level. The power category is really interesting. Most polys in my book uh, don't have much more or less power than one another. Uh, but on Grapple Snake, I did notice compared to even compared to Super Smash or Super Toro that it's slightly, again, splitting hairs, slightly lower on power than some other polys. And that's not either good or bad. It just depends on the type of player that you are. If you're a big hitter, that will make no difference because you may not want that kind of power. If you are someone that's looking for the most power possible, well, number one, you're probably not wanting to use a poly maybe you'll use a gut or a hybrid multi-filament if you want exceptional power um, but if you want that little extra pop that some polys might give you then grapple snake may not fit for you perfectly durability is a high it gets me seven to eight hours which is very typical of a really good poly moving on to tension maintenance tension maintenance is sort of normal if i break strings every six to eight hours this tension here and it gets a little bit mushy and soft around the six hour mark so i consider tension maintenance sort of very normal not exceeding not exceedingly high just normal moving on to the most important category is feel the best way to describe the feel of grapple snake it's certainly on the soft more comfortable side of polys it's half muted and half lively so i wouldn't consider this a fully muted string nor is it very responsive and lively it's sort of a, a little bit of both um, it has a little bit of a muted feel and at the same time still has enough responsiveness and liveliness to make it feel really good. Overall, the grade level is an A-. minus. Um, I would say the only reason it doesn't get an A is because the slightly less responsiveness or liveliness than I would like to see, ideally. Um, just because I rate this an A-, minus, by no means that this means that this is a bad string. This is an excellent string. And my A minus that works for me might be an A for you. Um, so I think this is a fantastic string. It would almost get an A, but because of a few little tiny tweaks and attribute failures, or not failures, but shortcomings, I give it an A minus. I think this fits a lot of people's game really, really well, and it's a string for the masses. So instead of a summary, I changed it to who is it for? So this is a comfort string that has a semi-muted and semi-responsive feel and leans towards the softer end of the poly spectrum. 
It's best for recreational players between 3.5 and 5.0 who want a blend of comfort and performance. But if you are a high caliber player or a young player with very fast swing speeds, you might prefer something more crispy and a little stiffer. Um, except for those people who may have arm issues or arm sensitivities who may need something softer and then you can adjust the crispiness or the firmness of the string by just going a little bit higher in tension. Regarding tensions, it played very well between 42 and 60. I prefer the slightly higher end of the scale, especially for a softer polys like a Kirschbaum Orange or a Grapple Snake uh, Tor M8 or even an Alu Power. I prefer sort of in the, at least in the 50s. Um, but some people love this string in the mid 40s as well. But of course, it's just going to be uh, a little more pocketing, uh, a little softer, a little more depth. So if you have a shorter, more abbreviated swing and without fast swing speeds, then a lower tension is going to work really well for you. So the end question is, would I use it again? Absolutely. I think this is a fantastic string. It borderlines on an A grade. I give it an A minus. I think some people will think this is an A string. Um, some other people might think it's a B plus. But this is a string for the masses. Uh, this fits most players. It's not a very demanding string. The vast majority of recreational players should really enjoy Grapple Snake Tour M8. If you have any comments, please ask them in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed or liked the video, please do so. It helps these videos get more exposure and with the YouTube algorithm and pushes it up the rankings. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next days.